Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. And last time we completed a gig for Mr. Hands where we had to go and um, essentially bust in and kill a bunch of... Alright. Kill a bunch of uh, voodoo boys and um, a net runner. Coach Fred. What? All right, let's see what this is about. Good grief. Hey, it seems like the city swallowed you whole and you've got no time for boxing no more, huh? But you don't fret. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You could help me out with something, though. Got this tomb, Aaron. Good kid, even better boxer. He needs help, and I thought of you. Go and talk to him, would you? Uh, yeah, fine. I will do. Eventually, I'm a busy girl, you know. A lot of people um, require my time. There you go. Preem, promise the boy I'll send someone who knows what they're doing. You'll find Aaron at the DT Outdoor Boxing Ring. Cool. But for now... Oh. Why have we suddenly got radio on? No, thank you. What does Reed say? Ooh, recon. Alex tried leveraging some contacts. All busts. One officer willing to open a back door for us suddenly went dark. Probably choking on dirt or salt water by now. I've got one of my own who could give us an outside chance, that, but that SOB is the best at what he does, not wanting to be found. Well, that's all right. We'll, we'll, we're going to do some gigs for Mr. Hans. We'll sort it out, man. Don't worry. All right, so. Uh, what have we got? Dogtown Saints. Meet with Mr. Hans' client, Odell Blanco. Waiting for Dodger. Prototype in the scraper. Um... Okay, let's meet with this client. I'm kind of curious about that. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, see what this is about. Aha. All right. There is it. Uh, okay, we need a vehicle, don't we? We need a vehicle here. Oh. Here we go. Our little truck managed to get itself out of the... Um, what do you call it? The ditch. There you go. Okay. Ah, oh, some nice relaxing music just to chill while we drive through Dogtown. Or around Dogtown. My god. Oh god. Oh, Jeez. Alright. Alright, we're okay. We're alright. We're alright. Hopefully we'll get these gigs done and then we'll uh, be able to get into that skyscraper. Alright. Oh. Now, now. Come on. So this way, aha, yes, 200 metres and we'll be there, perfect. Ah, oh, this is very nice. Whoa, dude, jeez Louise. Can you, excuse me, please, thank you. Oh, it's down there, okay. Um, we better park up, haven't we? Let's just, just stick it here for now. Okay. Why am I hearing somebody sounding like they're being beaten up or something? Uh, okay. Oops. Pressed X instead of Z. God bless it. So what's this purple thing over here? Something cool? For us? Ooh. Hello. Oh. I'm guessing he, um, maybe came off his motorbike. Not good. Not what you want to do. Bad move, dude. Bad mood. Bad move, even. Good God. All right. Oh, dear. All right, so... You. Excuse me. Still dry. Stitches on in place. Uh... It hurts like hell. Oh, dear. I can barely stand. Then sit down on the stool. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. Oh, dear. All right. Adele Blanco. Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. Oh dear. Um. Oh, if only we had the skill. Never mind. Um. Why don't you call Barg Hess? Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Mm. Mm. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bargain salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. 
Hmm. What if we could? Can we? Oh. Kind of curious as to if we can, like, upgrade ourselves. Technical ability. We do have the attribute points, but then, well, I don't know. It's probably not worth it, is it? Um. Yeah. What do the scavs want? What do the scavs want from the head doc? Yeah. Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. Mm -hmm. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. All right. What the hell? Uh, how do I get inside? Yeah. Scav's got all the doors covered. Make one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Oh. Could still be a way there. Okay. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. All right. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. <sighs> I'll do it, Leave it to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the clinic's over there. Are you all right, dude? You'd be all right. Trust me. This dude seems to know his know his stuff. All right. Let's um, let's wander on over and just see. Be careful crossing the road. So we don't get run over. Ugh. There's a lot of awful noises coming from over there. All right. Um. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So we need to find a way in. How do we get in? Why did Nika drag us here? Hmm. I don't think we're able to just stroll up, are we? No. Oh, madam. You oh, God bless it. I'll tear you apart. I mean, I don't think you will. <laughs> oh. No, 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 not like this. God bless it. Well, it wasn't my intention, but do you know what? Oh, missed. Oh. How are you not dead? What is this? Archive conversation. Nikolai Wasin and Andrea Hall. Nikolai, don't wait up for me. Something urgent came up here. Gotta take care of it now. Andrea, that's your excuse? Really? Could at least put more effort into it. Nikolai. Christ, give it an effing rest. Bad enough we're stuck here in this clinic. Who knows what for? And now Nika disappeared somewhere. Andrea, what clinic? The one on Montagna de Oro? Nikolai, yeah, watch me catch some sort of disease or something. That'll be the effing cherry on top. Andrea, I heard that Anderson guys got corpo contacts. Apparently they gave him old implant models so they can write them off later. Nikolai, yeah, think we didn't check. Place is empty. There's F all in here. Some hospital, more like a place to wait around and die. Good God, dude. I mean, bloody hell. I don't want to know what you've just called me. I imagine it's some kind of insult. Anyway. Alright, let's... Um... Oh God, really? Really? Can't fit through that little gap. Should we just... Should we just... What you doing? I kill you. Oh, you will, will you? I don't think you will, because I think you're dead. All right, never mind. Okay, let's let's uh, see if we can find a way in. You talking to me, sir? Oh, what, what? Excuse me? Where is this person? I missed. How did I miss? Alright. Missed. Okay. Didn't miss the second time. No way! 
Oh, end me. Try your very best. Oh. And now you're dead. Score one for me. Oh, you pig! Ah, is that Russian? I think suka is a Russian word. I'm sure it is. I'm scared, am I? I mean, you're the one that's hiding behind a load of boxes, love. Ah, there you are. Oh, sneaky. Poking your head out and putting it back in again. Come on. What are you doing? You weirdo. You hate me. Don't hate me because you ain't me. Alright. Alright, you're going to find me and, and do something to my legs? I mean, you can try. Oh, you're down there, are you? Oh, curse it. Oh, God bless it, Bobby. Madam? Hello? Oh, really? We're doing this again? You failed. I mean, granted, I missed, but still. And now you're dead. Alright, let's, uh... Okay. Nothing else in here? Nothing else? Ooh, PC, hello. Archive conversation. Oh! This is the, this is the, the dude. Okay. Archive conversation. Odell Blanco and Father Graef? Graef? Odell. Father, I need some advice. I'm starting to think I've made a terrible mistake. Father, by letting them use the church as a clinic? Odell. No, not that. I don't regret that decision one bit. Maybe I should have shouldn't have gotten involved, you know, personally. There's just so much suffering. Every day it's the same. It never ends. Father, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke 9.23, remember? Odell, I don't mean my suffering. These people need real help, not prayers. And I can't do a thing for them. Father, I was sick and you visited me. Matthew 25.36, well... Not to be harsh, but, I, you know, I can't imagine that if somebody's dying a horrible death that, you know, that's going to comfort them much. Request for in-kind support for our clinic. Ooh. Hello, my name is Odell Blanco and I work for Haven Clinic on Montagna de Oro Ave in Dogtown. Our doors are open to anyone who needs medical care, but can't afford it due to their circumstances, whatever they may be. We don't accept any tr payment for treatment or inpatient stays. Our surgeon, Anthony Anderson, does all his work pro bono. Since your organisation also works to provide medical care for the poor and disadvantaged, I would like to ask if you would be interested in providing in-kind support for our clinic. We would be grateful for any donations in the form of bandages, needles, medications, maybe expired, anaesthetics and disinfectants. We need, quite literally, everything. Have a blessed day. Will be. Okay. So from the Centre of Medical Aid. Dear Mr Blanco, despite our appreciation for the work Haven does for the underprivileged in Dogtown, we unfortunately cannot fulfil your request. As you surely know, Mr Anderson has not yet been cleared of the charges placed on him by his former workplace. Providing support to your clinic could be taken as our de facto approval of Mr Anderson and his actions. As a non-profit organisation that relies exclusively on private donations, we simply cannot afford to lose the public's trust. Yeah. Alright, what's in the files? Anything? Inventory? Oh, this is all the stuff they have. Wow. They need a lot of stuff, man. Damn. Let's have a little peek at these cameras, shall we? Anyone else? Anything else? Hmm. Microwaves. Um, okay, well, all right, let's have a look. Anything else here? Okay. Ah! Hmm. 
So that's assumedly where we're going to come in. Any, anything else in here? Ah, there's somebody. Who are you? Even the same dents and scratches. Hmm. All right. This is obviously outside. That's fine. All right. Well, do you know what? Let's turn those off now. Now that we know. All right. Whoa. Okay, so they're under there. All right, let's um, just be a little sneaky. Easy. Jeez Louise. Did they hear us or something? Ah, oh, they heard us. Go on, dude, turn around. <sighs> hmm. Come on now, what are you doing? Are you going to be coming this way? Maybe they're going to be coming this way. Let's just, let's just move back slightly. Chill. I got rid of him. We'll find you. I don't think you will find me. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know whether we were supposed to kill these folks, but you know what? Screw it. <gasps> What's this? Okay. Archive conversation, Roda Awang and Craig Giorgio. Roda, hey oh, you alive? Craig, all done, post op now. Roda, fudge, what took so long? Craig, Ripper had to figure out how to get the hand implant to fit. Thing was used, you know, second hand? Roda, hilarious. Here we are, shizzing ourselves because you weren't writing back. You know the shiz they say about that clinic? Craig, I know, and I don't give a shiz. They help me out, all that matters. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, so... Is that a TV or people? Ooh, hello, what's this? Box. Just some old cyberware stuff. Okay, uh, anything else in here? Hmm. What? All right. Anything else? Cyberware usage and its effects. We've already read that. What's this? Whoa. Hmm. Maybe we should just um, take it easy in here. What is it you want? Oh, this is the woman who... What did who... you do, you quack piece of shit? Quit waving that around! What the Stay hell's back. going on? Where's Gaspar? Tell me! Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Um. Yeah, just tell her. Tell if you her know. what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry. Do you work for me or the scabs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ah, Whoa! The there you go. Fuck! You, Merc, help me! Look. I don't know what we should do. I can't fucking believe this. I think you need to calm down. Everybody Gaspar's does. Dead. What? You're lying! He All right. was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The 
kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Wow. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell your other patients! You... You fucking murderer! Look, it nice city, not the worst way to go. Yeah. He died in the street? Would have just landed in a dump. Yeah. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? All right, chill. We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Oh, dude, she's going to shoot you. Oh, no, she's going to punch you in the face. Help! Where's his body? Fuck off, Scav! Look, just stop, Your stop, brother's stop, stop. gone. Oh, so you punch me? Let him get Accept it. Let Anderson go. <sighs> Madam. There we go. I don't know where her body went, but oh, there you go. Finally, you couldn't have done that from the start. Look, dude. A brother's dead. Calm down. Good grief. Alright, what's this? Um, archive conversation. Nika Yankovic and Tim Brent. Nika, you've seen Gaspar? Tim, I was going to ask you the same thing. Your little bro owes me a shiz ton of eddies from his last order. Nika, when did you see him? What did you sell him? Tim, A, not breaking dealer confidentiality. Nika, if you sold him some street shiz, I'll find you and kill you. Tim, chill. He's probably holed up somewhere, waiting for his debts to pay themselves off. Look, I want to find him just as much as you do. Nika. Fine, let me know if you hear anything. I can give you eddies, a reward, anything if you find him. Yeah, I mean, I feel, feel a bit bad, but I didn't really think I could punch her to death. But there you go. Um... I can't see where she's coming from. I can't. Did what you hired me for. That don't mean I think Nika's wrong. Yeah. One thing, Merc. Unless you spent the day in my shoes, in my clinic, doing my job, you've got no right to judge me. Oh, I judge. The patients, what's their status? With Odell, out in the street waiting. Yes. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Ooh, I don't like this man. I actually genuinely don't. I know he's I know that he's right about, you know the parts can go to other people, but still it's like when one of your relatives dies, you don't want to hear oh yeah, sorry, we're just gonna carve them up and take all their organs. Do you? You know. Are we able to still talk to this man? Kinda busy here. Oh you look it, mate. Jeez, really it's breaking a sweat over there. Good lord. I don't know. It just seems a bit wrong, doesn't it? I think there's ways to go about it, and the way he's gone about it isn't the way. Alright. Let's go. At least we've completed another task. That's something. Kind of. Ooh, anything else in here? Greg Wilson and Odell Blanco. What's this? Greg, you remember me, father? Me and my daughter? The morphine you gave us really helped her, but we've run out and she's really suffering. Odell, daughter, you said you had a son. Greg, oh yeah, right. In any case, we need your help. Odell, bring her to the clinic. Maybe we can diagnose the source of her pain. Morphine is highly addictive. Shiz, Tune, don't get all preachy on me. Just give me what I ask for. Fudge, I'm sweating bullets, my legs jumping, and I'm fudging scared, you feel me? Odell. Go to detox. There's several addiction centres in Night City. You'll get a bed and psychological care. Greg. Look, man, I ain't a junkie. I'm just going through a hard time and need to relax a little. Come on, be a good neighbour. Please, answer me, I'm begging you. Yes, indeed. Alright. What's uh, anything on here we can see? Read. That we've already read. Expired meds. 
Hey there, Saki, how's biz? I was hoping you'd have some more expired meds on hand. Last time everything was fine, nobody had any issues. Quite the opposite, actually. We finally relieved some of our patients' pain, not to mention giving them a good night's sleep. I'd be really grateful for the help. Sup, father? No prob, gotta make room for the new stuff anyways. Not like the D-town junkies read the labels, but eds aren't everything, am I right? Give me a day or two, I'll send a package to the clinic. No, you Catholic types like to worry and moan, but I'll even toss in something extra to cheer you up. Eh, really. Patient files. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Oh, so... Yank Yankovic. Huh. All right. We've already seen the surveillance system. Right, brilliant. Well, okay, there you go. We've done another quest. So this was the... Um, Obviously, the clinic where uh, he was having some issues with these folks, but that's fine. All right, we'll just go out. The Golden Fleece. And there you go, complete the last of the gigs. Oh, so we need to go round to the front now and um, let them know that all is well. Oh, Jesus. And you can... Um... All right, Mr. Hans. Work yeah, I try my best. Send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains. But Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. Yeah, he wants them. I can only assume he's in shock. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Great. Your job is finished. Very good. Okay, well, I guess we've 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 done our thing. So we've got one more gig to do. Let's have a look. Uh, journal. Okay, so prototype in the scraper or waiting for Dodger. Hmm. Okay, go to location received. Oh, I thought we'd get a little bit more info, but never mind. That's 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 fine. It's perfectly fine. So, um, how far is it? Seven hundred and fifty meters. Hmm. Well, well. There's one of these cars here. Oh, all right. Ooh, there she is. Get the car. All right. Can we? Yep. Yeah, let's just yeah, just just carefully, carefully. Excuse me. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. So down this way. All right. Jeez. I want to get hit. All right. Okay, so it's this way. Just need to be careful, mind the pedestrians. Carefully wend our way through. God, they, honestly, the driving in this game, I have had more accidents than I think anybody else ever has, which is which is weird to say. Alright, so Shush. Meds, I think. All the dog towns go this way, thank you. Sorry. I just um whoa. Oh hey, can we go up here? Over this way? Okay. What are all these things? A voodoo rosary, my god. Um Oh crumbs! Need to do that. Okay. Oof. Onto the barrels. You know how to stand up yourself. Just here to buy some water, sir. That's all he wants. So Want some water? That's all he wants. Good God! Just, just selling the water and leave him alone. That is quite the outfit. All right. Let's just, just, just go. Just, just keep going. This way. My God! Over here? Oh, what? Seriously? God bless it. This way. You know they've been boinking. Oh, yeah. lovely. Unfair. 
Good grief. How far in are we going? Hmm. This way. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, going about my business. Mr. Hans. Hello. V. Yes? A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. Oh. The latter will presume for good. Now, right. that would just be another day in Dogtown. Mm -hmm. Until I received word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Oh. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. Oh. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go okay. to the scavs nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Okay. Huh. All right. Giga Projective Retrieve, a prototype implant and its schematics. Location, construction site, the scraper, Longshore stacks. Details, a few days ago, the scavengers raided a convoy returning from the stadium. Soon after, I received a call from the regional director of Zeta Tech informing me said convoy was theirs. Now, they tried to keep their transaction on the down low. Unfortunately, it seems the scavs go lower. Zeta Tech lost a valuable prototype implant along with its technical documentation. They'd like to retrieve their lost items. Fortunately, the prototype is emitting a trackable signal. It's pointed us to a scav haunt in the Longshore stacks at the construction site of a long, unfinished skyscraper. I've sent you the coordinates. I trust you'll do the rest. And that we certainly will. All right. Let's just... um. Take a little view on proceeding, shall we? So there's one over there, one there, one down there. That is some kind of is it? ah camera. Let's um let's take a look around. Oops. Take a little peep. See what we can see. All right. Okay. Aha, somebody else. Thank you. Okay, so they got the hmm. Okay, anybody else here? Hmm. See that one's on. We could turn that into assist mode, but do you know what? Let's um let's take a little peep around first. Anybody else? Aha, yes, I saw you. Okay, anybody else? Another camera. Security turret. Huh. Well, there's certainly um, a lot here, is there not? Another dude. What's that? Hmm. Oh, hello. Okay. So I think there's four cameras by the looks of it. Well, now we've done some, some recon. And we know what we're getting into. We are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will... Uh, invade this little area and take over so until next time be safe be good and look after yourselves